What's up guys, Ollie Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 4 of my Road to the Show series with the one and only shortstop himself. I forgot his name, let me look at it. Drew Stevens! Uh, it's crazy that through four episodes and probably a couple hours of gameplay already with this man, I still have a tr hard time remembering his name, but uh, that's not a problem. The real problem right now is that we are still batting ninth. We batted second last episode, but... I don't know, the coach can't seem to make up his mind uh, about where he's going to place me in the lineup. So at this current, uh, I don't know, point of time, I guess, we're batting ninth, or at least that's what it says in the lineup sir, uh, menu. Sometimes those menus are actually incorrect, though, so hopefully we're batting higher than it actually says we are, because I do not want to bat ninth. Um, so in this game, let's look at our, our MLB team. It looks pretty bad. It's three and six. That's really bad. Triple A team's not horrible. It's four and three, but we are definitely the best of them all as we are at five and two. So we are going to be playing this game against the Birmingham Barons. I think that's what their name is. And I am, oh, we're actually simming that game. So we're going to finish up the series against the Birmingham Barons because there's only two games left in the series. And keeping up with the trend, each series or each uh, episode is going to be about two games long. So here we go. We're playing the first game. And I'm batting fifth. That's really good news, I guess, is that uh, I'm not batting as low as they said we were because, as I've emphasized multiple times before, when you are batting ninth on the Twins AA affiliate team, that's another way of saying that you should just find a different career because baseball is obviously not it for you. The one good news about my character, though, is he's not unnecessarily a hitter, as we found out, but he's a pretty good fielder, and he is a dominant base runner, so... I'm just kind of killing it on the base path. I have like six steals and haven't been caught stealing once. And then when it comes to actually hitting the ball, I'm actually I'm actually ripping the ball pretty good. I'm batting about 460, 470. I only have one ding dong donger, which is the one problem. But let's let's be honest. I'm gonna have to hit some more dingers here and there. It's gonna happen. It's gonna come as we improve our player, as we work on our development, and especially our power and hitting stats because those are definitely what need the most work at this point. But either way, to start off this game, we are going to throw that guy out at first because we are the greatest fielder in the world right now. Um, there really is no comparison. My guy's arm strength needs a little bit of work, but for the most part, I mean, for the most part, I have like 65 arm strength. I don't see, I don't see myself to be in any rush to improve my arm because it is a very rare scenario where you're going to need a really high arm strength to get someone out, and it's not really worth wasting thousands of training points to save me one out per every like 30 fielding plays. So due to myself just trying to be as basically just, wait, no, how, okay, D due to me being a cheapskate, I'm not going to work my arm strength, but on a more concerning note, how are my teammates so slow? This happened in the last episode where I got a blooper back up to the pitcher, and he, the guy got thrown out at home, I'm not sure if you guys remember that play, but how are my players so slow? He got thrown out a second when he had like 10 seconds to get there. They, I swear, my teammates are ruining my batting average because they can, they can't run any slower than than they run whenever I hit the ball. Like it's unbelievable how slow they are. It's like all of them went to freaking, oh, 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 well, that was just a series of complete shit. No, oh, I didn't even get an error for that. Are you kidding me? There's no way. There's there's no way they didn't charge me with an error. Okay, we're lucky boys because that was a terrible play. Um, I committed like a fielding error and a throwing error on that play, yet they're like, nah, we're not going to charge you with anything, so, uh, although MLB likes to screw me over a good deal of the time, at least they're being pretty chilling right there, and they're keeping my fielding, uh, percentage to at least a decent number. By the way, sadly, the guy batting before me had a ground on two double play, so now I'm going up to bat with a runner on third and two outs, but we know I'm going up here with the intention of stroking the ball. And that's an interesting way of saying it, but who cares? We're going to get hit back up the middle. Uh, there's nobody covering second. There is somebody now. Oh, well, I don't care. I'm going on this side of the bag, and you cannot touch me. That is a double. That is the most interesting double you'll probably ever see, because I barely even hit the ball, and I got a double off it. Uh, that's just called good baseball awareness, I guess. You can call it whatever you really want, but I noticed that there was nobody covering the bag at second, so I figured I might as well go for it and see what will happen, and luckily enough, not only uh, did the, sec the guy covering second take a long time to get back to second, but the center fielder himself threw the ball like a complete doofus and was not able to throw me out. 
I seem to get oddly lucky with throws though, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but whenever there's an important throw that will affect me, it seems like the people always throw it like six feet wide of the bag, so I've never really been in a situation where I've had to barely make the base. Of course, that last play on that double, I almost get, I almost did get thrown out, but I should have been thrown out, it was just a terrible throw by the center fielder. Uh, but what I'm trying to emphasize, I probably can't rely on that too much because uh, as I pro progress and go into higher affiliations like AAA and MLB, Let's be honest, people aren't going to be this crappy at throwing a ball like 20 feet. It actually is unbelievable to me. Like, the game is unrealistic to an extent. Like, no, even even a double-A player, they can throw a, a ball straight for 20 feet. It's not that difficult. You can grab, like, a, a T-baller, or not a T-baller, but a little leaguer, and they can throw a ball, like, 30 feet uh, in a straight direction. Like, sometimes this game is a little unfair to the double-A affiliations, but I don't know. It works fine for me because, literally, I've been able to steal bases on these people and get hits like nobody's business because it's been far too easy and you you guys have a pretty good representation of that i mean i'm batting like 480 uh 48 home run even though my guy's power is is terrible and then i just got to second on a terrible hit so i don't really know how all this is working but i don't know it's all working well for me so anyways we are moving on to the fourth inning we're still up one to zero against the birmingham barums so of course None of the, the fact, like, that we're doing pretty good. Oh, I didn't even think I caught that, but um, in terms of standings and record and all that, we're doing pretty good. But none of that matters to me, because not only am I not going to be in the double-A long enough for this to even matter, but I'm not going to be a, um, uh, I'm not going to be on the Twins. So, like, even if I were to be in double-A the whole season, which I tell you guys right now, I'm not going to be. Even if I were, though, under some terrible circumstance, I, like, tear an ACL or something, I'm here all season. Um, I'm not going to be on this team, so I don't really care how this team does. So even if we lose every game, I I honestly would sacrifice my team's record for my stats because I don't give a f about this team. Because let's be honest, like I'm not going to be on this team for much longer, and that's basically that. So they're like like I said, I really couldn't give two shits about what happens to this team. My goal right now is just to get some dingers, try to get some hits, and from there on we'll just kind of see what happens. But Right there, that guy's going to throw me that high fastball. I'm not chasing the high cheese, although, of course, it is tempting. Um, let's see. I want to just get, get a hanging a hanging pitch so I can just kind of rip one. But uh, I want to go second. I'm, let's make him think I'm going second. I actually maybe could have made it because that second baseman uh, got a pretty bad throw and he reacted in kind of a dramatic way. But whatever. We got a single and a double. We're trying to avoid hitting too many doubles because we're going for the cycle every single game, as you guys know. Oh, don't get thrown out. Oh! I finally got caught stealing. I knew as soon as I win that that was not a good pitch to, to go on. Because not only did he do the slide step, but I don't, that was actually kind of a bullet from the catcher, too. I don't. I think the game didn't want me to continue my dominance on the base pass because it probably would be a little unrealistic. But there we go. The, the catcher finally got me. I didn't feel like I got that good of a jump. It told me I got a good jump, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to disagree with the game on that one. And then right there, uh, keeping up our dominant fielding. Although I should have like four errors this season. The game has been helping me out on that aspect. And so far, I have one error this season. And in that one error, that was that was in the episode that I was not able to show you guys. Because for some reason, the audio clip got lost. So, because of that, um, to you guys, I am having a perfect fielding year. And we can just continue to have that thought process. So either way, right here is the 8th inning. Of course, we're up 2-0. Our pitchers are completely wrecking the shit out of this team. I have no complaints about that. I always love it when a pitcher or pitchers perform well because then it just gives you, I mean, more leeway to just swing how you want to swing. Because, like, like, right here, I just popped out. I don't give a F because, like, I mean, realistically, we got, the, oh, realistically, we got the win. But well, I, was, I thought it was going to pop out. Looks like it carried a little bit farther than I thought it would. And there we go. I got another chance here. Boom. Oh, my goodness. You know, there's nothing worse than destroying a ball right at somebody. The only thing that's worse is getting, like, a home run robbed, which is another thing that's... Oh, that's so aggravating just to think about. Whatever. Either way, top of the ninth right here. This is our opportunity. This is our time to shine. Time to show our coach that we deserve to be traded. <laughs> so, we're going to make a nice little backhand and another play. Th these plays are so routine. I'm pretty sure we have, like, the same play on all of our fielding attempts this game. It's just a simple little drooper to the shortstop. And right here you see me and the second baseman because we're the two coolest people on the team. We're just talking about how everybody else on the team is a complete loser. Um, 
I don't know why these guys are getting excited. They're probably never going to make AAA. But, you know, let's just let them live out their dreams. Maybe they'll finally get a, an extra salary boost to, like, $10 a year. I mean, uh, their contracts are better than mine. I mean, we've already discussed my contract before, so I don't want to emphasize it too much. But either way, we're uh, we went two for four. That's not that bad. We had the two hits that we got were rips. Probably should have been three for four, but sadly, whoever got thrown out and second on my hit back to the pitcher has the speed of, like, a freaking three-year-old girl. So because of that, we were two for four, but who even cares? Our, our batting average is so nice that I'm not going to complain with anything. The other thing that we need to do is work on our power because we are trying to hit dingers. Let's see. I'm going to try to get my power to about 60. i got to get this power to about 40. I don't want to focus too much on just righties. I know that I've been doing that a little bit, and you guys are might be a little bit concerned, but I'll work on lefties pretty soon. Get that to, like, yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. You guys don't have to worry about it. Um, either way, right here, we got dropped to six. So, I, to be completely honest, I don't really know what's going on in my coach's mind. I think he just kind of picks a name out of the hat and just throws me wherever I end up. Because realistically, I don't feel like there's any method to his madness on where he sets me in the lineup. Because it, it doesn't seem like it's there's any difference. Like he just puts me. In, I'm either in the five, six, seven, or nine spot. It's just a random selection. When realistically, I feel like I should be in the one or two spot, just because I'm batting 480 and I I, I don't know. I seem like to, I'm like uh, not only am I always on base, but I also steal tons of bases. So I feel like I'm a pretty good qualification as the number one hitter, but. I don't know. My pitcher's just a doofus. I discussed in the last episode that we'd be better off just trading their, our coach for a taco. At least at least that would help us. I mean, the coach doesn't provide any help. But at least if we had, like, at least we'd have food or something if we traded them. You know, there's, like, minor league stories of people who got traded for baseball bats and stuff. I've, I've heard about that. Um, just weird stuff. Like, But it's in, like, Class A affiliations and stuff. People will trade their players for, like, like 10 bats or a few gloves. Like, that. that's called, like... That just is fucked up when you think about it, cause not it's basically you just got traded for like ten bucks worth of bats, so it, that's basically them valuing you at like ten bucks. So basically, the point I'm trying to make is you can trade a player for items, so we could probably trade our coach for just like a coupon to I don't know to like a taco shop or something. I mean, just anything. Like our coach, our coach really has no impact on our team. It probably has more of a negative impact rather than a positive impact. So. <sighs> Why keep them, you know? Why keep them? Anyway, right here, it looks like we're finally in a deficit. In the majority of our games, we were always in the lead, so it's an interesting situation to, pit, to uh, play from. Sadly, we have to have a doo-doo pitcher on the mound who's going to be giving up runs. As you see, there's already runners on second and third. I'm going to hold a runner at second, throw it over to first. Sadly, a run is going to score off that play, but like I said, I don't really care how our team performs. I'm just trying to hit dingers. Uh, do whatever I can to make myself look good because I'm trying to get traded. I'm trying to get off this team because, well, I, I'm not going to emphasize it. We we know what team I'm playing for. So we're going to advance to my next appearance. Here we go. Run on first. No outs. I'm going to hit a dinger right now and tie up the game. That's what I'm going for at least. It's been so long since I had a dinger. I just, I feel like my dinger craving going to an ultimate high. That's the one problem is usually I, I create people with really high power. Um, but since I created a shortstop who's more all around, it's not a whole lot of home runs that are going to be hit. And it's making it a little bit difficult for me because there's nothing more fun to me than just destroying a home run. So um, I'll I'll have to work on that power output a little bit because, uh, man, do I want to hit a dinger right now. I think everybody wants to watch me just hit a home run. I think that's just I think that's the funnest part of baseball is just destroying a bowl. I think the coolest thing, though, is that in my first home run a couple episodes back, at least it was like a no-doubter. Because if you're going to hit a home run, you might as well just be, you know, might as well just do a no-doubter so you look cooler when you do it. Okay, I got a hold of that one. That's not going to be gone, but, oh, my goodness. <sighs> whenever whenever my guy gets a hold of one, you have to think to yourself, like, that would have been a home run had I had more power. Because he lifts it so much. Like, it obviously, it was a power hit. I mean, I didn't do a power swing, but he obviously swung for power on that play. Um, because it wasn't a, it wasn't a, he didn't drill that ball, he just lofted it a lot. So he was obviously going for the home run ball, but of course, my power has to be so, so terrible that, uh, I don't know. Like, a pitcher really does have to give me one right down the middle for me to hit a home run. So, I guess I just gotta, gotta make do with what I got right now. Either way, you see right there, that pitch was right over the middle, so. I made the right decision by swinging at it, and just, just don't have enough power. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, thought that was a pop-up, but that's going to curve out into the stands. So thank God we got another opportunity here. Another opportunity to hopefully drive a run home and tie the game. Oh, wait, we have the lead. Just to put an insurance run, I guess. I was not paying attention to the score. And we might do just that. I'm not sure. Throw is coming home. And he's going to make it. I thought it was going to be a closer play than it actually was, of course. I have to put into consideration the fact that these are double-A arms. So these guys probably don't have the best arms in the world. So that's probably the reasoning that he was not able to even make a play at home. Okay, I'm not trying to get thrown out twice in one episode. Okay, I'm not going to allow that to happen. Uh, I actually made the third with ease right there. I thought that was going to be a closer play, but the dude's uh, stretch takes a little while. He does a pretty high leg kick. Or just kind of an odd leg, <laughs> leg kick. I don't even know how you would describe that. Either way, though, you see, we have to rely on our teammates right here to hopefully drive us home because, as I emphasized before, I'm just trying to get as many points as I can so I can improve my player uh, to the highest level or highest overall possible because I'm just trying to get not only traded, but I want to just be in the AAA or MLB. I don't know. By at least I want to be in the AAA by at least midway of the season and be at the MLB by the end of the season. Um, I feel like I can accomplish those goals quite easily. I can probably actually shatter those goals. I can probably make the MLB by midseason by just continuing to dominate and continuing to upgrade my player at a very consistent level. But um, I'm not going to put that much stress on myself. After all, like I said, I'm playing this this series like nonstop and I'm consistently uploading episodes like a, like a couple a day. So I'm, so I'm, uh, I'm not that concerned about whether I'm going... I mean, realistically, we'll be in the MLB and what will feel like no time because I'm going to be posting so many episodes of this. Uh, right there, that guy gets jammed. I, I think there's two outs right now. Yeah, there is, so... I need to re we really do need to rely on this guy to actually get a hit because anything else won't really cut it. Not only that, but I don't really want to watch another walk because, oh my god, this base running boring. Uh, it's actually it's probably a blessing in disguise that I lost my audio clip for that second game because in that second episode, or that second... Wait, what am I even saying? This the third episode that I lost originally, um, so I had to create a different one. I was literally the video was like 28 minutes long because I was on base for 14 minutes. So I'm honestly considering just like uh, at some points I might just take myself off the base pass, like turn base running abilities off, because like this is actually just stupid, like how long you have to wait on the base pass. Because I don't know, the MLB just decided like they don't want to make any differences to the base running ability. So you have to wait forever until, I don't know, until somebody hopefully gets a hit. The only thing that's worse for waiting for someone to get a hit for, like, the whole entire game. Oh, shit. It was a 3-2 count, but that doesn't mean... Oh, my God. I can't believe I just did that. I just... Okay, whatever. I'm glad the inning's over, but I just remembered that on a 3-2 count, you'd only run if you were on third and the bases were loaded. And even then, you might not even run because the player drilled it at you. You'd be completely screwed. Uh, I did not think about that. I was just running. I was just going for it. Uh, whatever. He walked him anyways on that last play. It's not like I wanted to be on third base any longer than I already was. So, here we go. 429 batting average. That's pretty awesome. I think... I don't know. I think I should be called up within a couple weeks if I'm continuing this dominance. Because, I don't know. I'm on fire. I'm killing it. Not only that, but if you added my adjusted overall through my equipment... I'm like the third best shortstop on the team. And the other two that are better than me are already on the MLB team. So, I don't know. I might deserve a call up pretty soon. That's what I'm thinking, at least. But, of course, we have to put the shortstop thing into consideration. Because I don't intend to be competing with these shortstops for much longer. As I've discussed a lot in the past, we are going for the trade. So, we are not going to stay on this team. We're not staying to compete with these stupid shortstops on this stupid team. Because... Oh my god, I don't even want to have to go on a ramp by the Twins again. That's just, it's just so bad. Either way, right there, another kind of routine play. I'm waiting for myself to actually get an opportunity to make a pretty dope play. Uh, but until then, we just got to keep doing the routine plays and just seeing how things work out. Either way, here comes our pitcher to blow the game. Okay, he barely saved it, barely got the last out with the bases loaded. And we walk out of here with a one-run win. Um, I guess the wins aren't bad. Even though, like I said, I don't really care because I'm going to be taking off this team as soon as possible anyways. But either way, if you guys enjoyed, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and why I do make it more interesting in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned 
to this uh, series. And not only that, but I need to trade this player ASAP because that's a pretty good overall player. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.